events and today I'm joined by Annie Filipova. Um, today we'll be discussing our upcoming event, the 11th Next Gen Payments and RegTech Forum being held in Athens, Greece in September. So thank you so much for talking with me today. No, it's my pleasure. Thank you for inviting me. You're welcome. So um, you are the founder of Change Advisory. You're a payment specialist, board member, speaker, and former regional COO um, of Citibank Asia Treasury and Tr Trade Solutions. You're going to be joining our panel discussion on enabling consumerism and driving innovation as a, mon as a moderator, sorry. Um, and as a taste of what's to come from the event, uh, I wanted to, to ask you a question based on your expertise in the area. So what I wanted to ask you today is if you could change one aspect of the payment sector, what would that be and why? Well, that's really a great question. And uh, we know that payment industry has been changing and reshaping rapidly in the recent years. Uh, there was time when everything was paid with cash and card and payment, uh, which took three days to arrive. But today we can send a text to pay for a bus ticket or use a QR code to pay for groceries or tap a sales terminal with a mobile phone. We have uh, instant payments that take only three seconds to arrive. Um, we have requests to pay digital wallets and I can continue counting the new uh, innovations. In the same time, there is a huge structure, structural change to the payment mix and the ecosystem. Uh, buy now, pay later offering is emerging, cryptocurrencies are coming um, and work is underway on central bank digital currencies. And in addition, um, payments generate another great asset. It's data. This is information about who is buying, what they're buying, how much and when. So mm -hmm. this is creating a new revenue stream for payment businesses uh, that can monetize that data, yet also expose them to issues and risks related to data privacy. In addition, we have other risks which are growing given we are now more and more digital cybersecurity and digital identity um, and authentication. So if I would change anything, that would be to see much more innovation and solutions related to reducing risks. So risk management these days has almost an impossible job. You know, huge volume of new regulations. That's one profound change of how payments are done. I mean, I just mentioned, you know, three seconds. Now it takes three seconds for instant payments to, to take place. Um, so there is um, a large number of new technologies that have been implemented. So uh, the only way, um, there is no other way actually uh, to approach the risk um, without focusing on innovation and data-led um, changes in the risk area too. In fact, uh, creating innovative capabilities to support risk management to do their job properly should be one step ahead of everything else. So all of us in the payment industry can actually uh, focus um, on, on the job and know that the risk folks have, the, have our back. So it's a serious task uh, and it requires combined effort of regulations and companies to, to find the best way forward. Absolutely. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Uh, we, we really appreciate you joining us today uh, for this chat and we're really looking forward to, to seeing you speak at our upcoming 11th Next Gen Payments and RegTech Forum along with our other guest speakers as well. So it's really exciting. Thank you so much today. Thank you, Sophia, so much. I am also looking forward for the, for the forum. Thanks. Absolutely. Take care. Bye. Bye.